How's it going guys, Sharblox here. Today we will be talking about two of the latest Roblox features that are available for beta testing right now. Yes, this video will be a tutorial guide showing you guys how to test these features for yourself in your own Roblox games. We will be looking at Layered Clothing, which was literally just released for beta testing. It was released only a few hours ago to the public. I'm pretty sure it was a few hours ago or maybe yesterday by the time you guys are watching this video. And we will also take a look at the dynamic heads and animated faces. I know that feature came out like five days ago. Probably like every other Roblox YouTuber has already made a video about this. Last week I was super busy with in real life stuff. My computer's RAM and power supply went faulty as well. Yeah every October my PC breaks. I'm actually cursed. Can someone lift that curse? It's really annoying. My technology is always exploding I swear. Oh well we can check out the animated faces and dynamic heads at the end of this video anyway. But let's start off with layered clothing. I will be showing you guys all of the information I know in this video but let's start off with a tweet from Roblox. They tweeted this out a few minutes ago. They said we've launched the studio beta of layered clothing, a feature that fits clothing items not just to any avatar but over anything you're already wearing. Learn more about the limitless possibilities for self-expression coming to Roblox. Okay maybe we can check out that in a second. Anyway let's watch the video, let's see what Roblox has got. So it looks like inside of the avatar editor we now have a view of the lead clothing section. Let me just slow this down. The video is very fast. So they click on clothing. You've got outerwear, bottoms, left shoes, right shoes, classic shirts. It looks like they select an Alfred package. And then again, they are able to equip more stuff. So there you go. That's actually pretty cool. I do like it. Now, a lot of people are kind of hating on this lead clothing thing down below in the comment section. Now, to me, this looks pretty cool. I think I know the reason why people are hating on this. I think it's because whenever Roblox promotes something, they make their avatar look super ugly and odd looking and because they look so odd and so strange I think that's why some of the younger Roblox players look at these updates and they think oh that's horrible it looks ugly it looks stupid yeah Roblox it's your fault you need to sort out your avatars they look proper bizarre sometimes here is one of the screenshots from the Roblox developer conference so there you go layered clothing works on normal avatars and on afro avatars also guys UGC bodies heads and clothing should be coming soon so yep that means UGC layered clothing clothing. This guy right here called Rage, he already created a Roblox UGC lead clothing test. And look, he made a toilet. Yeah, it looks a bit odd, but it does look kind of funny. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. It's like a toilet head for lead clothing. I'm guessing he's got headless selected. I don't quite know, but it does look pretty cool. Bloxy News did also tweet out how lead clothing was made. I will just cover this very quickly because I know most of you guys probably won't care or you find this very boring. But there you go. It uses cage meshes, cage deformers, so it can fit different types of avatars, caging process. Oh, I can't be bothered to read all this, to be honest. What's this? The second of four key technique components that make up the upcoming lead clothing. So there you go about hidden surface removal, all of that kind of stuff. Skinned meshes as well. To be fair, Roblox has put in a lot of effort into this lead clothing. And from what I've seen so far, it honestly doesn't look too bad. Or at least if you hate it, it's probably not as bad as you think. I will show you guys that in a second. Oh yeah, we've probably seen this one before as well. The four key tech components that make up the upcoming lead clothing system, surface appearance. Look at this, you need the colors, you need the roughness, the normal map, and the metalness map. Four textures all combined together to make layered clothing. Yeah, it's nothing like your standard Roblox clothes or accessories. They normally only need one texture. There is also a step-by-step -step process on how it's made. Most of us probably aren't interested in making it for ourselves, but I will show you guys how to equip it anyway. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Roblox makes the ugliest avatars. I mean, come on. If you're trying to promote something, why would you want some strange looking guy in like a bootleg Superman outfit wearing some girl's pants? Like, what even is this? Roblox, if you want to send me an email and I will make the characters that go on the Roblox blog, if I made some decent looking characters, people would honestly think lead clothing was going to be so cool because most of these characters are just so weird. Anyway, let me find the instructions. This was released a few hours ago. I'm not going to read all of this though. It's just way too much. 
page. So where is the instructions? Uh, okay, I think it's here. To enable it in your own experience, simply open the Roblox Studio, click File, Beta Features, and then tick the box labeled 3D Layered Clothing. Okay, let's go and try this. Firstly, over on GitHub, we need to download the Layered Clothing demo place, or beta place, whatever you want to call it. So that would be this one, Layered Clothing Developer Release. Let's click on this. Let's go into Place Files. Let's go on the RBXL file. Then let's just click on Download. And there you go. As you can see, it downloaded in a second. Let's go and open this in Roblox Studio. Right, so that would be File. We need to go on Open from File. Downloads folder. Let's go and open this one. Then there you go. It's loading the project. What else did we need to do? We needed to go to File again. Then it was Beta Features, 3D Layered Clothing. Oh, it's already enabled. Maybe because I downloaded this project. Oh, well, there you go. That was pretty easy. And yes, we are now inside of the 3D Layered Clothing test server. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to play it. Let's go up to test. Let's go on play. I know the quality of this is a little bit low, but that's because I'm playing it inside of Roblox Studio. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's try on some 3D clothing. So let's see. We've got hairs. We've got shirts. We've got coats. We've got pants. Let's just try on some random stuff. Let's go for the blue puffer jacket. And there you go. As you guys can see, it works on R15. That is honestly pretty cool. I think we can open up the character menu as well. Does that work if I click on it? Yep, it does work. It's a little bit glitchy though. So let's change to a basic looking character. Let's go into clothing. So there you go. We've got Roblox shirts. We've got jackets. We've got random stuff as well. Yeah, you know what? I actually like this. I think it's pretty cool. And also guys, whatever character you use, even if you use something like this with like spikes on it and everything, if you go into clothing, I'm pretty sure the clothes still fit it. There you go. That is pretty mad. I know it's not perfect. Sometimes it's like clipping through just a little bit, but to be fair, it's pretty good. Especially this one. This one looks really cool. We have tops, outerwear, bottoms, left shoes, right shoes, classic shirts, no internet connection. Okay, so that one's not working just yet. What's about classic t-shirts? Oh, I see what this is. This is the classic Roblox stuff. The 2D clothing. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's make our character. So let's go ahead. Let's wear some shoes. You can wear odd shoes if you want to. That's kind of funny. Let's find some trousers. Got some camo trousers. That looks pretty sick. Got some ones with straps on it. Oh, they look kind of mad. They look like some weird like Balenciaga fashion thing. Some ripped jeans. These ones are a little too short for my avatar's legs. I think the army ones are probably the best to be fair. Let's see if we can find like a nice jacket. That one's pretty good. Not too bad. Leather jacket. That looks a bit creepy actually. Basic hoodie. I rate that. So can I wear my accessories as well? What even is this stuff? I definitely don't own these accessories. <laughs> what? Whose inventory is this? I don't know, but it's definitely not mine. The 3D clothing hair is looking kind of mad as well. And yeah, there you go, guys. Roblox layered clothing. It's honestly not as bad as you think. I know many people are hating on this right now, saying, oh, it looks ugly. It looks rubbish. But that's Roblox's fault. Because look, Roblox is making all of this weird looking ugly stuff. And you see this character that I made in what, like five seconds? This looks better than what Roblox made. And I even think it still looks stupid. I will try and make some insane characters and I will put them on screen right now. And yeah, there you go. Layered clothing. I really like it. I think it's really cool. And it's definitely perfect for the future of Roblox. Look at this, guys. It's even really cool on build mode. As I'm making my avatar like taller, as you can see, the clothing has to like adjust to it. That is honestly so cool. I think it works if I change the body size as well. Yeah, look at that. Look at the way the clothing kind of like adapts to my avatar. That is exactly how 3D clothing works. And it works pretty fast as well. Should I try this on R6 and see what happens? Warning, layered clothing is not supported on R6 characters. If you switch to R6, all layered clothing items will be removed. Let's just switch and see what happens. Oh, I see what they mean. Layered clothing really doesn't work on R6. Maybe R6 will be removed soon. Honestly, guys, I don't know. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's Roblox layered clothing. This is what it's going to look like when it's officially released onto the Roblox website. Just keep in mind, it doesn't work on R6. And it's not really that bad. It's honestly not too ugly. It just depends what your Roblox character looks like. Now is the part of the video where we talk about dynamic heads and animated faces. Just like this character that's standing next to me. To what you hear from Roblox, I'm sure you guys have probably seen this one already. Like I said, literally every YouTuber under the sun has already covered this. But it said, Roblox has thousands of ways to express yourself. Dynamic heads is the first step towards reflective facial expressions that make conversations feel as real inside the metaverse as they do outside it. So they're trying to turn Roblox into real life? That sounds a bit weird. Anyway, I can play the video for you guys. As you can see, it's a fairly creepy looking 
R for a character and it has face animations, it can like speak, it can move its mouth, its eyes, it can blink and stuff. Yeah, I know this one doesn't look very good. It really doesn't look like Roblox. But then again, they are using an Afro character. Afro doesn't really look like Roblox in the first place. I also just noticed that this avatar does have 3D clothing equipped. But there you go, this face is incredibly creepy. A lot of people don't like it. This update right here is pretty good. Just the way Roblox kind of like demonstrated it made it look kind of weird. This video clip here from Bloxy News, this one was also very popular. They said, here's a first look at facial animations in game using voice chat. So yep, facial animations do actually sync up with voice chat. So basically when you're speaking, your avatar's mouth will be moving. And as you can see, David up here, he is actually moving in real life. And we can see the Roblox character is basically imitating his moves. So yeah, there you go. Now, honestly, this is pretty cool. It just looks a little bit weird with Afro. I do like it. I kind of like this update on the regular Roblox characters. So let's see, how can we get this one working in our Roblox games? I think there's some instructions on the developer forum. Let's have a look. Open Studio, navigate to File, Beta Features, Facial Animation and check the box, restart studio, and then it should be working. Okay, let's give this a try. First of all, we need to download it from GitHub. So that would be dynamic head. Then it would be example places, dynamic head customization example, or schema example. Which one is it? I'm going to download the customization one because I'm pretty sure it's this. So let's click on download. There you go, it's downloading. Let's just open this up. So we need to go to file, scroll down, beta features. We need to look for the faces one facial animation there you go for me it's already enabled but make sure to check your one is go ahead save it restart studio if you need to then go up to test go on play and it should be working facial animations should be working you should be able to customize your character as well and as you can see there you go now i know it looks kind of funny not everyone likes this to be fair i like it let me just create a quick custom roblox avatar i think this face right here definitely looks the best there you go we can choose some hair we can change the color of our character as well change the hair color there you go make it look kind of crazy get some eyebrows get some little kind of like eyelashes facial hair if you want to add some might look kind of funny put a hat on our character as well got some shades let's just wear everything so it might look kind of mad if we click on this one we can actually do the facial animations so you can do like surprised you can do angry one thing i kind of like is the facial animations are like actually 3d as you can see as i'm tilting my character's head to the side you can literally see inside of my avatar's mouth and you can see the tongue and everything yeah it's kind of creepy for a roblox avatar but it is kind of cool and there you go you've got emotes and everything like that i honestly don't know why people hate this too much i can understand with afro characters it does look a little bit weird but honestly on normal roblox characters like i don't really hate this <laughs> look how creepy this one looks anyway let me know what you think about this down below in this video's comment section like i said i don't really hate it sometimes you can make pretty creepy looking avatars like this and it can actually look kind of funny but yeah, I guess that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the video's comment section. Do you guys like it? Do you think it looks creepy? Which one do you prefer? Facial animations, dynamic heads, or layered clothing? I think layered clothing is definitely my favorite out of all of these. But yeah, there you go. I just wanted to make a video showing you guys how to get these working. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.